Well, hello everybody. Good afternoon. Good late, late afternoon, early evening, whatever. It's about 5.30 as I'm filming this and um, I have a Bath and Body Works haul and chat. First, we're going to chat a little bit because, you know, we should. Um, I'm getting recaffeinated right now and I'm home from work and shopping. Uh, as you know, I started back to work. If you've been following my videos, I started back to work a couple weeks ago and it's been great and I'm happy to be back at work and blah, blah, blah as a barista. And uh, yeah, so what happens of course is that I'm not doing quite as many videos as you may notice because I'm not, you know, a complete lady of leisure or whatever these days like I am working. So, uh, and you know, may or may not know I have MS, and so, um, which I've had forever. I've had it for like a million years, since about 1995. And I, um, you know, uh, it's relatively benign. Uh, the only uh, symptoms that I have all the time are like, there's a numbness that I have in certain places all the time, 24 seven, that gets worse if there's an exasperation. And I also have uh, fatigue. I just get tired, you know, pretty easily. So. I just have to take care of that. And um, if, so what's happening is at work, um, like the past, not today, but the past couple of days, Friday and Saturday were busy, you know, busy days, which is great. It's great for the business and all that, but you kind of come in and it's like, blah, craziness. And then by the time, if I'm closing, which I usually am, by the time I'm closing, and I get out of there at like three o'clock, four o'clock, depending on how long it takes to get out of there, get everything done. I'm exhausted. Like I'm just, you know, I come home and just, sometimes I don't even make it to the shower. I just like come home and lay down in the bed and take off my shoes and I'm out for a couple of hours and then I shower. Uh, sometimes I go and eat afterwards. Like I'll get off and just go eat at a sit down restaurant because they're are a number of them between uh, my workplace and my house in Waikiki, my apartment, so I'll eat sometimes and then come home and crash. Mm. But I, uh, there was a sale, Bath & Body Works was having a sale, the candles $15.95, which is not that great of a sale, sale but you know, that's kind of, that's about it. Once in a while they're $11.95 or buy one, get one 50% off, so their sales are getting pretty stingy. Um, and a friend of mine was kind enough to send me a coupon, 20% off coupon and a free item coupon, which I have never gotten in the mail, never, ever gotten them. Uh, and they're, they don't seem to be having those kind of sales or passing those kind of coupons, 20% out, 20% off anymore. So, um, thank you. I was really happy to receive that. And I held on to it cause I said, I know there's going to be a sale sometime in the next month. There'll be, a, there usually is. And so there was, they were fifteen ninety five, and um, but <coughs> past couple of days, I've just been too tired. I mean, when work, I wanted to go, I had the coupon with me. I thought I'll just run down after work to Ala Moana, but I was too exhausted. I couldn't make it either day. But today, Sunday was not so bad. It was busy in the morning and the afternoon kind of tapered off and it was fairly quiet and, um, Nice, I got everything done, got some baking and stuff done. So when I was done at like three o'clock, I was like, I have enough energy to go to Al Moana and get candles today and I'll eat while I'm there. So I had the most delicious uh, curry, Japanese curry with shabu shabu beef and kimchi. I think I have a picture I can insert here. from Coco Curry Company, so delicious. Mm. And then uh, I went candle shopping. So I am back for candle shopping and I thought I'm gonna do this video because I haven't been doing a lot of videos the past several days. So let me do this video while I'm still awake and everything and I feel quite good now. I mean, I've come back, I've taken a shower, I'm freshly showered and moisturized and I'm in my my caft can living my best Waikiki life. I am off for the next four days. So this is like a lovely night, Sunday night. I am ready for a night of uh, 
Netflix and music and book reading. I'm reading this book. It's quite interesting. Oliver Sacks, Hallucinations, a book all about, medical book about a different kind. Well, not, you know, it's for the layman, but it, it's a, a doctor writing about all these various different kinds of hallucinations, like from different kinds of illnesses and uh, drugs. And I haven't got to this section, but he also talks about night terrors and those weird hallucinations or whatever they are that you have when you wake up and you can't move and your eyes are open and you feel like there's somebody in the room because I've had that happen. So be curious what he says about that. Mm -hmm. So candles, yes, let's talk about candles. I had a list from the last sale of like 20 candles that I wanted to get. And uh, I got like, I didn't, you know, the sale wasn't that amazing price-wise. So I got, I think four or five, I did a haul on that. And the others just sat on the list. So this time I actually kind of had a list when I went in. And where's my receipt? Uh, oh. So, yeah, I just kind of went off my list. And there were a couple of things that weren't there before that I sniffed and I did get. So, yeah. I ended up getting, uh, what did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles. And a free item, free body care item. And my grand total was ninety-three fifty-three, which might seem like a lot. I mean, you know, but good heavens, what would it have been without like a coupon it, or in the sale and everything? It would have been like three times that much or something. All right, so let's look at what I got, shall we? First up. Most of this packaging is pretty boring, I think. A little bit boring on the packaging. Some, I got the ones that had really cool packaging, I think, last time <laughs> that I liked. And this time I'm kind of like, except for there's one I really like, but the others are like, eh. Yeah, okay, it's tasteful, whatever. I understand some people like that, and that's cool. Um, whipped coffee. Rainbow effect going on there. Uh, this one says shot of espresso, sweet whipped cream, sugar crystals with essential oils. I smelt this the last time when I was here. I didn't get it, but I got you know some other ones. But this one was impressive to me. I thought this is a coffee smell. I mean, this does really smell like coffee. I work in an espresso bar. Okay, I can tell you, this smells like coffee, but like coffee with brown sugar. We have a customer that gets coffee with brown sugar on a fairly regular basis. And this is what it smells like. Coffee with brown sugar in it. It's nice. Very nice. Mmm. White wax. That is a beautiful coffee candle. This one was on my list from last time also. Again, I mean, it's sort of cute packaging, but it's still kind of boring. Pineapple pancakes. You know, I mean, you could have just called it pineapple upside down cake. It's basically the same concept, right? Tropical Bakery, we're all about it here. Here at the Casa de Tiki Java. Fresh pineapple, fluffy pancakes, sweet banana slices, brown sugar with essential oils. You know, pineapple upside down cake. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice. Okay, this one I almost got last time also, but <coughs> I think I got something else. Or maybe I did get this one and now I have two of them. I didn't check. I should check and see. I might have, I don't know. Sunny Lime, I love this. I do love lime scents, fruit scents. I like them, especially lemons and limes and citruses. This is, smells so good. Oh, this is just such a nice, fresh lime, definitely lime citrus to me. Uh, fresh squeezed lime juice, peppercorn, bright bergamot with essential oils. Also smells kind of like, well, they're similar. I don't know if you, I don't know if they even have this on the mainland. They have it here. It's not hugely popular. It's from the Philippines originally, I believe, calamansi juice. It's a fruit, citrus fruit, kind of, it smells very much like that too, but which is similar to lime. So good. Sunny lime. Mm. 
That's so good. There are some good candles out there now. I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah, some of these are good. Okay, this also was one I'd noticed last time. Really liked, didn't get it, but wanted to pick it up. Iced Blueberry Biscotti. I hear a lot of people talking about this one. White Wax. It's very nice. It is It is blueberry. blueberry. Sugared blueberry, sweet vanilla icing, almond biscotti, brown sugar. Is there a theme here of brown sugar? This is nice. I mean, I think it's, you know, pretty true to what it's saying. It's basically like if biscotti had some blueberries and some, some you know, glaze on a vanilla glaze. It makes me hungry for one, actually, but it's a nice smell. It's interesting. I kind of like blueberry. I don't like berry smells as a rule that much, but I'm finding some of the blueberry scents from Bath & Body Works I'm kind of liking. I really like that. I think it was blueberries and cream or something like that. A while ago, I really, really loved that. A sugared blueberry is so good. I really like this one too. Iced blueberry biscotti or biscotti. Biscotti. Please tell me you don't say it that way. Um, another citrus scent I really liked, lemon mint leaf. This is the one that I really also like the packaging on. I think this is lovely. I love this shade of green of the wax and I love the ferns on it. It's very refreshing. The scent is just magnificently refreshing. Also, sparkling lemon zest, spearmint leaves, verbena sprigs with essential oils. So refreshing. I mean, it just really, really perks up your nose, definitely, when you're smelling that. Mmm. I do love mint also. So lemon and mint together, I mean, that's a great combination. Wonderful. Hello, gentle viewers. Does the music of today get you down? When you're tired of listening to Cardi B sing about her wet nether regions, why don't you come over to the radio station that plays real music by real artists who actually have talent, who can play actual instruments and sing songs without auto-tune? What a concept. I'm Andre Previn, and you can hear me play the piano beautifully. And I promise I won't play about my nether regions. That's Moody Mood Music on Live365.com. 24 hours, 7 days a week, free to listen to Moody Mood Music. It will take you back to a simpler, more gentle time. Good listeners. And this one also was on my list from last time. Something different, I don't know. Garden, sage, and apple. Yawn on the packaging. Oops. Mm. Yeah, golden apples, fresh garden sage, crisp pear blossoms with essential oils. They always seem to say like apples and pears together a lot, Bath and Body Works, don't they? And I think the scents are somewhat interchangeable. I mean, a pear and an apple can be kind of similar. Mm. And I would even venture to say to me, this does smell a little bit more pear than apple, but who's to say? And the sage, it's a white garden sage. Yeah, it's kind of like a, it's a very light sage. It's not a super herbally. It would have been nice if it was more sagey, but this is good. This is a very nice, fresh scent. It's kind of an apple pear scent that isn't um, like a fall necessarily scent. Although apples are all year. I mean, they're not all year round, but I mean, let's get real. We live in a world where we can get fruit 12 months out of the year from anywhere. Somebody's growing it somewhere. So whatever. I like it. Garden sage and apple. Now, the one that I did not smell before, that wasn't there before, there were a couple that I came close to getting, and I kind of wish I had in a way now that I'm home, um, which was uh, blackberries and basil. Again, I'm not usually crazy about blackberries, but with the basil, that blackberry, that was a nice, that was a nice candle. I, 
yeah, I kind of wish I had gotten that. And the other one that I didn't get, because I did kind of make a fast visit. I didn't spend a lot of time lollygagging around. But the other one I had not smelled before that was there this time that I really liked was, um, whoa, what was it? Uh, it's Blackberry and Sage and the other one. Oh, Bubbly Rosé. I think that's what it was called. That was kind of nice too. It's sort of a, a rosé wine-esque, really kind of champagne-ish sort of smell, but it was nice. That was nice too. And I almost, almost got that one. I kind of wish I had, but the one that I got that they didn't have before that was new for me was Sweet Mint Julep. I really liked this one as well. This is okay packaging, uh, you know. Sedate, crushed rosemary mint, splash of bourbon, sweet vanilla simple syrup with essential oils. Mmm, nice. Well, you know, I like a good mint julep. You ever had? I, I do like mint juleps. This is nice. Again, it is kind of a nice refreshing, refreshing scent, but the bergamot does like bring it a little bit more toned down or a little more earthiness to it. You could say if you don't, if you don't want to compare it to like a mint julep, I mean, you could almost, I could almost say it's like a, it smells sort of like maybe an, a fruity tea, like an apple-esque sort of tea with some mint in it. It's nice, I like it too. So yeah. Now those candles are 24, what are they? 24.50 now or some ridiculous price? 24.50. So they were uh, on a sale 15.95 and then, uh, which was 8.55 off. And then I had the 20% off my total store purchase. That was my coupon, took off 3.19. So they ended up being 12.76. Not the greatest price in the world, but probably the best price I'm gonna get anytime soon at Bath & Body Works. Then for the free item, I'd never had a free item one before, but it's supposed to be any body care up to seven fifty. So I just grabbed a hand soap and put it in there. And then when I went to the checkout, she's like, oh, I'm sorry, it doesn't the ba it doesn't work on uh, the bath soap. It won't ring it up, um, you know, as body care, the hand soap. And I'm thinking, how is soap not body care? I mean, <laughs> let's think about that for a moment, shall we? Soap is not body care. But I mean, she was very nice and she said, oh, there, it, it's blah, 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 blah. Hand sanitizer, I guess, is. Sanitizers and little lotion things and whatever. And she, she pointed to a little section right by the register where there was a bunch of stuff that qualified and I just like turned around and grabbed something was like, okay, whatever, it's a free item. And then I, when I got it, I thought, oh God, I should have looked for a minute, but it's okay. I got Japanese Cherry Blossom Ultra Sheen Body Cream. So I just make sure I use this. It doesn't expire because the body cream does kind of turn, but I don't have any Japanese Cherry Blossom. So it's kind of a feminine smell, but that's okay. I don't really, you know, it's good stuff. I like their body cream. It's good. So my grand total was 80 three or it was 93 53 for all of that so anyway i got lots of candles my cab candle cabinet is now officially full it hasn't been in a long time but it is officially totally full i don't have any room for any more candles now until i i gotta burn like at least 50 percent of what i have before i'm gonna allow myself to get more candles so yeah that's it, we stop for now. Cause I got Bath and Body Works and I got a bunch of other kinds too. And I am well stocked for candles right now. So no more, no more candles till I burn about half of what's in there. So that's it. Uh, I will talk to you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up. Press the notification button if you want to be immediately notified when I have downloaded something, a new video. And yeah, leave any questions or comments below. It's always great to hear about you. And I'm enjoying other people's hauls and seeing what they have been buying at the sales. And I think that's it. I'll see you in the next video, which should actually definitely be soon, not later.